has been a crazy last month, basically, for me. Um, as you all saw, um, over the last several months, I've been training for the uh, 24-hour adventure trail run. And I did that with my buddy Joe. And uh, things kind of went south. They were not, uh, things did not go as planned. And you know what they say about plans. Everybody has a plan, right? Until you get punched in the face. And uh, that's what happened. That's what happened uh, on that, that race day. Unseasonably hot and uh, really, <laughs> really took a beating. Uh, I've spent the last month kind of replaying everything, of, everything that happened that day, you know, what I ate, what I drank, um, effort, all that kind of stuff just to try to learn from the event. And essentially, I just, it comes down to I felt as though I just was not acclimated to the heat, was not able to maintain uh, myself through the heat. Uh, we didn't go out particularly hard. I think we, we ran a smart race. Looking at the numbers, we ran a smart race. Uh, and uh, I just really don't know what else I could have done other than then probably uh, just waiting a couple hours, getting myself back together, then trying to go back out. But at that point, um, I just felt it was moot, uh, completed 38 miles, and uh, and just felt like it was uh, the right thing just for health reasons and to tap out. And that kind of leads me to my next uh, discussion about where I've been. As a lot of you have reached out and asking if everything's okay, because it's been a couple weeks since I posted other than like the trailer to that race. <sighs> Um, you know, this time of year, it's uh, very stressful for me because uh, baseball and softball and all of that stuff, and I talk about this each year, starts picking up and uh, a lot of the things that I need to do around the house, uh, they don't pick up, they just need to be done because I've spent so many months training for these that, that race and, uh, you know, things get neglected and things have to get taken care of. Um, and then, so I, I, I kind of felt humbled from that race. You know, I'm not upset. Uh, you know, it's not upset walking away from it. I just, you know, it's one of those things whenever you take uh, a defeat in, you know, and, and granted, I went out and did 38 miles and I, I don't have a huge issue with that. I thought that was a great performance considering the conditions. Um, but for training for a year for something, well, I did other races, but, you know, preparing for something for a year, looking forward to something for a year and then having it kind of fall through, not being able to execute the plan you wanted is a little humbling. You know, I turned 46 and, uh, you know, when you start getting humbled like that, you start trying to find reasons why. And you don't ever want age to be that. Um, I will never admit that. I just, I, I don't believe it because there's so many people out there much older still killing it. Um, I, I think there's, uh, you know, this stuff's math. I think if you prepare enough and you do the right things, you could be successful more often than not. But statistically, you're always going to have some things come up. So I'm not going to over-index on thinking about the failure, but it did humble me a, a little bit walking away from that. And then uh, started to run again, felt fine. And then there was a, a day at work where um, I had been sleeping great, uh, drinking way too much coffee. I mean, honestly, the coffee intake of uh, for me, as you know, I love coffee. Uh, I was getting up real stressful at work, a lot of things going on at work. So the work stress had slowly really crept in. My personal life, as in family obligations and stuff, started creeping in. And I think I started getting myself into kind of a hypertensive uh, situ situation that I wasn't uh, really, um, you know, like when they always say that, you know, frog in boiling water doesn't know it's going to, it, that it's in boiling water. When you sit in it, it's kind of way, the way that I was. Uh, the stress started to build and build and build and build. So, you know, I got work personal life, family obligations, and then trying to maintain a YouTube channel. And while this seems easy, I'll use turn on the camera. I do a lot of research. I do a lot of research for the shoes and preparing for scripts. And it takes up a lot of mental space in my brain. So it does create this constant stress. When I'm not releasing a video, I stress about it. That I need to be doing it. I need to be doing it. I've invested so much in time and energy uh, into this channel. So, uh, you know, I, I don't feel okay about just not uh, doing the things I need to do out here for what I consider uh, a business of mine. And so anyways, circling back, I'm kind of rambling, but I'm getting to it. Uh, at work one day, uh, I had I'd had probably maybe 40 ounces of coffee 
up until about one o'clock in the afternoon. I hadn't eaten anything. And that morning I had gone and purchased a tropical smoothie, which I do often, but I didn't drink it. Usually it's cold and I don't drink it very quickly. I drink it over, you know, maybe an hour or so. But in this particular day, I had, I was just so busy. I put it in my refrigerator in my office and uh, forgot about it. But then around one, you know, I hadn't eaten anything and I am hopped up on caffeine because I'd had so much. Uh, so I decided to drink it. Well, I drank it probably within about 30 seconds. And I'm um, working, looking at my phone, looking at the screen at work, and my vision got blurry really quickly. Like it just, my eyes started to twitch, and it was a very strange feeling, um, which immediately put me almost into a panic. It was kind of like that feeling when you have uh, hypoglycemia, something like that. Like it kind of felt like that, oh, I don't feel really good. And uh, my heart rate, which is an average, I have an average heart rate of about 45. Um, and it's probably usually around in the 50s, low 50s when I'm sitting at my desk and maybe 60s, depending on the level of stress. Heart rate shot up to like 110. And then I really started to panic. So I had an, uh, a person that is an EMT that works for me and uh, went over, talked to her and said, hey, you know, can you keep an eye on me? I, I, I feel weird. And within about 10 minutes, all the the, all the symptoms kind of subsided. subsided. Uh, my heart rate uh, had kind of dropped down more to normal. My blood pressure was up, though, which was concerning. And so being 45 and uh, knowing that I had just gone through that really stressful uh, event at the 24-hour ATR, and it really was a lot of stress on my body, the amount, how bad I felt in that race, and I still need to finish editing, editing that video, and I'll get back to that in a second, you know, I've heard things about your is it cortisol levels elevating, and there's some things that can happen, the stresses that can happen in these ultras, uh, things that can happen to you that could take weeks or a month or so to uh, get better. And, and my mind started to, I have a tendency towards anxiety and all of that kind of stuff. So, I mean, it almost put me into a panic attack, what was happening to me. I went to the doctors and they ran EKG and blood work and uh, testing for thyroid issues. And they did all of these tests and everything came back normal, uh, which is good. I'm, I'm very happy for that. So overall, I'm healthy. Uh, so that was a good thing, kind of forced the hand to make sure that I go and uh, get my body checked out and my health checked out. Um, that made me feel much better. And then I monitored my blood pressure over the next week. Uh, I cut out caffeine, pretty much cut it down to about 10 to 12 ounces in a day. Uh, the first two days, first 48 hours after that event, I didn't drink any coffee, but then the headaches started to come in. So I started drinking a little bit of coffee and I've been mixing in some decaf that has, you know, maybe a quarter uh, of the percent of normal uh, coffee. And I started feeling normal. My sleep started getting better. I started waking up actually refreshed. I was waking up for the last month or so, just not feeling rested uh, and not doing anything else, not feeling like my sleep was bad, just not feeling rested. But when I cut the caffeine down, uh, I slept better. Common sense. I know that. It's one of the things you know um, you should probably do. And uh, I don't know if my sensitivity to coffee changed, um, but uh, I'd like to say over the last week, my blood pressure went back to a normal level and that's what the doctors wanted to see. And so I basically kind of paused running and kind of paused things just to kind of make sure that I was okay. Uh, with the editing uh, of the last race video, it's been a while and uh, it, all of this together, this uh, killed my motivation for wanting to edit that. I just, it's like going back and editing a loss and like, a, you know, I don't know if you guys record videos of like uh, games of your kids or things like that, or you. Um, I know that's kind of a weird analogy or trying to draw a relation there, but it's like when you lose, like it's not, a, you don't have a huge motivator to go back and, you know, do that thing, to relive that moment. And that's kind of what happened to me. Um, I had a great day. It was a, it was a great day as in I got to hang out with Joe and with a buddy and we got to talk and that was awesome. That part of it uh, was worth it, worth the worth the price of admission. So that part, I'm not worried about. It was just, and not, again, like I'm not terribly tore up about the race. It's just one of those things that's just not motivating to go back and uh, 
and edit that. So I am editing it because it was a it was a fun day and I'm, I'm getting to it. I did the trailer, which the trailer is probably going to be better than the video. I shouldn't be saying that. But, um, you know, when I got to like the last lap of that race, I just didn't even turn on the camera. I felt that bad. I mean, I can't explain to you how bad I felt. I've never felt that bad in a race before. So it's good. I got to learn something new. I got to learn, uh, <laughs> unlock a new fear, uh, which, you know, made me question whether or not I'm even going to, was, was even going to do the hundred miler, uh, you know, two weeks ago. And I was probably 50% uh, in my mind, uh, just because I just took an, I, I just had that happen in the race. And then this weird event sitting at my desk, like it, everything and the stress and all of that. And I kind of just started working on kind of meditating and, and breathing exercises and just uh, lowering my stress level because I'd gotten to a point where I just wasn't really noticing how much stress I have on me for what I do uh, for a living. And uh, yeah, you got to take care of yourself and I'm okay. I am okay. I'm feeling better, feeling more confident. I took uh, this last week to kind of take off. I'm probably going to go out for a run today just to, uh, just to relax, just relax and enjoy what I love doing. Uh, and it's, and you know, when, he, when all of this is boiled away, it's left with uh, what's most important. And, and that's just that I love running and I love doing it from health. And I love sharing all of this with you. You know, when I, when I, when I started this channel, I always talk, I want to talk about wanting to help others, inspire others and show as much real stuff as I can to, to, to give somebody an accurate picture of someone that's like you, um, you know, I'm a dad, married father, um, not a, an elite athlete. I'm uh, one of you that just so happens to have a YouTube channel and some knowledge, and uh, and I want to share my uh, wins and my fails with all of you, so that maybe you can then learn or at least relate to somebody else doing the same thing you are. So I'm sharing these very raw, unedited thoughts with you. Uh, I know this video is a little long and I hope you got through this. And if you got to this part, I really appreciate um, you, you sticking around and listening to me. And uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully um, better days are ahead. Uh, some hard training is coming up for my 100 miler in September. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm getting the confidence back and I'm getting, uh, getting my mind right. I, I'm going to a very, very busy uh, summer with summer baseball and, and softball and stuff like that. So it's going to be extremely difficult on me to maintain uh, really good training uh, discipline. So it's going to take a lot of me getting creative and, and, and really pulling myself up and uh, doing what I need to do, getting up early and, and doing all of those things and, and not letting the day get away from me. Uh, so, and maintaining stress and maintaining stress. So uh, I will leave you with... Um, a great video right here. If you go ahead and click right there. I will see you in the next video. I appreciate you sticking around if you stayed around this long. Remember to, to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.